Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 585, okay? Just member A, B, so this member that goes from A all the way to B is supported by cable B, C, so this cable over here. And at A, we have a square rod which fits loosely through the square hole at the end joint of the member as shown, okay? Determine the components of reaction A and tension in the cable, okay, in order to support this 800 pound. Well, what do we know about this guy? This guy is like a square feet. So what it does is that it allows me to, to translate in the direction where this square is, which in this case in the X direction. So we won't have any reaction. No, no reactions for my translational in the X direction, okay? But I will have, I, it, it won't allow me to rotate, it won't allow me to rotate into any other direction and it won't allow me to move neither to the Y or Z. So basically we have five total um, reactions at point A, okay, which are, will be AY, AZ, we will have also moment AX, moment a y and moment a z okay these are all the reactions that this guy is doing to there to to my member okay so if we want we can do a free body diagram of this guy so it will look something like this okay and we will have our 800 pounds going exactly down. So we'll have 800 over here. Okay. I will have my tension that goes into that direction. So I'm going to draw like this. This is my tension. I'm going to call it BC because it goes from B all the way to C. Okay. And then we will have all the reactions, all these reactions. So we have AY. So I'm gonna consider my AY that is going into my positive Y. So I have AY. I'll also have a positive AZ. So AZ. And we'll have three moments, okay? I'm gonna put the moments around over here and they're gonna be positive. So moment AX, moment AY, and moment AZ. Okay, all of this is being on fire over here, but I don't have enough space to put it there, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, first of all, now we're going to define where A, B, and C location are. Well, basically A is at the origin. I don't need to define it, but B, where is my B located? Well, B lo is location is in the X direction, is negative three feet. Okay, we don't need to put the feet over here. We're gonna put it at the end. Okay, in the y direction, I have six positive, and I got zero for my altitude, and this is in feet. What about my point C? Well, my point C is actually in zero in the x direction, zero in the y, but it has an altitude of two feet. Okay, so, we found A, B, and C, A is at the origin, so everything is zero, 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 okay? Now, if I want to add them up, first of all, I, need, I know that this 800 is only going to the Z direction, so I don't have to decompose this guy into X, Y, and Z component, but TBC has an X, Y, and Z component. So what I will do is that I will find TBC, and in order to find TBC, we know that this is going to be equal to the magnitude multiplied by the unit vector BC. Okay, so if we want to find the unit vector BC, what we do is that we find the distance vector BC divided by its magnitude. So let's find that out. If we want to do BC, so let's do it over here. Okay, what is BC? We do C minus B. So we got 0 minus 
minus 3. So that will give me positive 3 in the i direction. Okay, 0 minus 6 will give me negative 6 in the j direction. And then you have 2 minus 0, that will give me positive 2 in the k direction. And this is fit. Okay, this is a 3, 2, 6, uh, 2, 3, 6. And therefore, my magnitude will be equal to 7 if I'm not wrong. And we can double check this with a calculator. So we're going to do the square root of 3 square plus negative 6 square plus 2 square. And that's a total of 7. So we got that the magnitude is equal to 7 feet. Okay. Now, unit vector BCU here is going to be equal to each one of these guys divided by its magnitude. So we will find out that this is going to be equal to 3 out of 7 in the i direction minus 6 out of 7 in the j direction plus 2 out of 7 in the k direction, okay? Now, we found the unit vector of BC. So basically, TVC is going to be its magnitude multiplied by this unit vector. So we can start doing our summatory of forces, okay? Let's just start with the summatory of forces in the x direction. Well, I don't have AX, so no AX. This guy is only going into the Z direction, so nothing in there. So I'll only have TVC in the X direction. So I'll have TVC magnitude multiplied by its unit vector direction, which is 3 over 7. And all this should be equal to 0. But wait, this tells me that TVC is equal to 0 when we solve, right? Okay, so if TVC is equal to 0, we can basically eliminate this guy from the equation. This guy is not here anymore. We don't need it. We don't actually need you. Okay? What about the summatory of forces in the y direction? Well, I have AY and I have nothing else. There are no more forces, so I got AY is equal to zero. Okay, so this is our first reaction. Okay, now what about the summatory of forces in the z direction? Well, I got negative 800 plus AZ. And all this should be equal to zero. Therefore, AZ is equal to 800. Okay, now all we need to find we found AY, we found AZ, we need to find the moment with respect to A, AX moment with respect to Y and Z. Okay, so I'm gonna erase all this because we're gonna find the moment with respect to each axis. We found out that AY was equal to zero. And AZ is equal to 800 positive pounds, okay? So let's do the summatory of forces, the of moments. So if we found the summatory of moments with respect to the x axis, what do I have? Okay, so this is my x axis. Now, TVC is not there, so I'll have moment AX, okay, because it's given by the reaction, and then if we look this 800 pounds going down, this is my only perpendicular force acting on this, which is equal to negative, because it's acting clockwise, 800 pounds, multiplied by the distance, well, the distance between X and this is 6 feet, and this all should be equal to zero. So we will find out that M, uh, the reaction of A, the moment reaction of A with respect to the x-axis is going to be equal to 8 multiplied by 6. My brain is not working. That will give me 4,800 4, pounds per feet. And we found one of our first moments. Then we'll do summatorial moments with respect to the y-axis, 
Oh, what do I have in the y-axis as well? This guy is acting exactly in the y-axis, so there is no distance between that one. So we'll find that we have moment of A with respect to Y. And then I have nothing else because AZ is acting also in the at the y-axis of this one. So we got the moment of A, Y is equal to zero. And then the summatory of moments with respect to the z-axis, well, what do I have? I have that moment of A with respect to the z-axis. What is this guy equal to? Well, I got that this one is also equal to zero because this guy is acting parallel to my, my axis and I have no other forces. I only have AZ which is acting also parallel. So we found our other two reactions moments. Okay, so we found that AY is equal to zero. AZ is equal to 800 moment. Uh, the reaction moment with respect to the x-axis is equal to 4800 pounds per feet. And the other two rea moment reactions are equal to zero. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.